We went through uh, three features that were recently released and three features that are on our horizon uh, for Q4. So in the last quarter, uh, we released multilingual email templates, a uh, really great workflow um, process to uh, send out surveys in multiple languages um, and queue that all off the email list that you upload. So a big enhancement that's gonna make a lot of people's lives easier if they're sending multilingual surveys. Uh, custom validation messages. So when you have a, a question uh, validation that says, please provide an answer, we now allow you the uh, user input to, to customize that. Say, uh, would you please tell us more about your product experience with Apple or with Ford? Um, so you can put in your brand name, whatever you want really into that validation message, a way to kind of personalize that that experience. And then user roles and permissions. So now if you have users on your team who you want to say access some of the reporting features, but not the editing features uh, or the integration features, but not the analytics features, uh, you'll now be able to assign different users, different roles and permissions within the system. So those all three are live currently uh, with the exception that the validation messages is still in beta. It's still being tested. Uh, if you wanna try that out though, uh, put something into the comments thread or get in touch with one of us via email and we can uh, open you up as a beta tester and we'd love to have you um, tell us more about how that's working. Uh, for Q4, some great stuff coming up, uh, review and collaboration mode. Anoop did a nice uh, 10 minute demo of this. Uh, if you think about all the functionality you have in say a Google doc where I can uh, look at what you're working on and uh, comment on what you've done. I have version history in case something changes and I want to know what's happened in the change. Uh, the survey is going to start to perform like a, like with all the functionality of a, a Google Doc or Google Sheet. Uh, so really a uh, huge enhancement for people working uh, with remote teams, um, which all of us are pretty much these days working with some form of a remote team or another. So that's coming up uh, in Q4. Text highlighter, this is a new question type. We keep launching new question types, keep finding new ways to collect uh, feedback. Uh, you can upload or just basically copy paste a blurb of text into a survey and allow uh, respondents to communicate through highlighting uh, different colors, how they feel about different words or sections of that text, whether it's working for them or not. You can customize the type of feedback too. It's not just good, bad. You can create your own criteria, categorization criteria for the text there. Uh, and then last but not least of what's coming up in Q4, probably the, the section we have the most questions on, um, multiple report views. So now when you create uh, a, a survey and do the analysis, you're gonna be able to create multiple report views of the same survey. Uh, if you go to the reports tab in Question Pro right now, there's just one report. Uh, you can filter it, you can change the colors, you can do a lot to customize that. We now allow you to save multiple versions of that report. So you can say, send one to your sales team and one to your manager. You might wanna present different information in different ways to both those audiences. So that is also uh, coming up in Q4.